I'm Dave, the host and co-creator of Dopey, the amazing podcast on drugs, addiction, and dumb shit. Everyone has been saying I should start making YouTube videos, so I figured we'd start with something I know nothing about, the Daily Reflections. I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing, but I know it's going to be great. Trust me. Ah, good morning, Dopey. Good morning, Dopey. The Yahtzee, hello. Your favorite podcast is now a big YouTube show. And that is my friend, Br'er Brian Oma, on the Good Morning Dopey. Check him out, Br'er Brian. Amazing musician. And welcome to Good Morning Dopey, a YouTube show about, uh, you know, this and that. Today's show, we're taking the shallow and yet still incredibly deep dive into this amazing book. I have to keep looking at it, The Daily Reflections. And of course, Good Morning Dopey has no connection to The Daily Reflections or Alcoholics Anonymous, except that I am reading this book and trying to explain it to you guys. Mm. Very interesting development in Good Morning Dopey. I have these incredible socks. Okay, we have the blue Good Morning Dopey navies. Howie, can you get close on this thing? With the Big Bird and Dopey logo. And then we have the black and white um, Dopey socks with uh, our stolen Misfits logo, which I shouldn't admit that. Now they can sue me easily. Um Here's the black and white socks with the Misfits logo and the Praying Mantis. And if you leave a comment in the Good Morning Dopey comment section, I just may send you a pair of Dopey socks. Is that the way the giveaway works, Howie? Is it that simple? Howie? Um, Are you there? <laughs> You'd have to get their address somehow. Well, how would we do that? I think what they should do is... <clears throat> Yes. They should. Um, <laughs> they should put their address in the comments. No, they can't put their address in the comments. What? No, I don't know. I, what, how this was your idea. How do we? Fa- how do we facilitate? They're gonna contact you, and they're gonna say, I, "I want the pair of used socks," and then you're gonna get back to them and figure out a way to get them the information. How? Know. How can you private? Can they message me their email? Like, how can they possibly Listen, get the socks? This is way too difficult. Yeah, this was your you'll, idea. You'll send them an email. There you go. How? You could. Private message them. Ah, this is what we'll do. All right. I mm-hmm. will pick somebody's message. Then I will write you, you won the socks. Then you will write me at dopeypodcast at gmail.com. You announce it. You announce it on the show. I will announce it on right. the show. That, you know, tomorrow's show or whatever show it's going to be, we'll announce it. Right? Tomo- well, Not tomorrow because they have to comment first. In the future, right. you leave comments. Six months from now. You could win socks. That's it. You could win this hat, too. I'm even kind of tired of this jacket. You could win the jacket. Aurora said it looks like a bathrobe. How dare she? Anyway, today is December. How, you think it looks like a bathrobe or no? Uh, no. No bathrobe. No. She was really dissing your lighting design when she said that. She wasn't really no. dissing the jacket. Do you know that? No. All right. All right, reaching out. My beard. Like, let me see up front. We have a monitor here that I can see myself. Go close again, please. See, it's like... My beard looks very long and scraggly. I don't know if I like it or not. Anyway, reaching out. Never talk down to an alcoholic from any moral or spiritual hilltop. Simply lay out the kit of spiritual tools for his inspection. Show him how they worked for you. That's a nice idea. Uh, That's from the big book of Alcoholics Anonymous on page 95. When I came into contact with a newcomer, Do I have a tendency to look at him from my perceived angle of success in AA? Do I compare him with the large number of acquaintances I have made in the fellowship? Do I point out to him a magisterial way, the voice of AA? Do I point out to him in a magisterial way, the voice of AA? What is my real attitude toward him? 
I must examine myself whenever I meet a newcomer to make sure that I am carrying the message with simplicity, humility, and generosity. The one who still suffers from the terrible disease of alcoholism must find in me a friend who will allow him to get to know the AA way because I had such a friend when I arrived in AA. Today, it is my turn to hold out my hand with love to my sister or brother alcoholic and to show him or her the way to happiness. This is very beautiful. And it and I know like sometimes when the passage is about God, everyone just like keys in on the God. And I think with a passage like this, everyone's going to key in on those two letters, AA. But this reading really helps in or out of AA. It, it's about reaching your hand out. It's about not being like, well, I have six years, so I know how this works. It's about seeing your former self in in an addict or an alcoholic who are still suffering, um, which is a great thing to do. It, it's the greatest uh, part of uh, of recovery. I mean, listen, one of the greatest one of the greatest parts of recovery is not being addicted to fucking drugs. Another thing is to have a little bit of extra money. Another thing is to have people in your life that care about you that you care about. But another thing that's amazing in recovery is that you actually have the superpower, the secret sauce to help the next struggling addict or alcoholic, which is amazing. So it's December 14th. This month is all about practicing the 12th step, which is helping the next guy. So let's do it. Let's get out there. Help the next guy, right, Howie? Give to DACA, right? What are you going to do? Clam chowder for everybody. I'm going to help you make this show. Excellent. Stay strong, Dopey Nation, and fucking toodles for Chris.